guys, I'm Bulma, and joining me is my rubber walrus, Pip. Call the police. <laughs> Would you care for some rubber nipples? Oh, I don't think I have any use for rubber nipples. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ren, Ren and Stimpy. If you guys uh, haven't seen that in a while, that's always a treat. Oh, I love it. I don't. Looking back at it, I'm like, man, I watched that as a kid. I can't believe my parents let me watch that, but they they but they blew a gasket over South Park. Yeah, right. But it was okay for like Ren and Stimpy to like beat people retarded, and I, I it mean, was weird it was sometimes. over the top. It was very over the top sometimes. And, and yes, no, it was very. <laughs> Very strange. The space madness one. Yeah. <laughs> he wants my ice cream bar. <laughs> I need to go back and watch some of these. I'm not remembering that. I have it on DVD. Oh, man. So we can totally do that. Seems like the new thing. Um, we are back with our final episode of Cuphead, though. Don't sound sad. We're throwing this game in the dirt. <laughs> Get, get wrecked, Cuphead. I'm just a little sad. It's the first series that we've that we're gonna have finished on the channel now. I'm it's not... kind of bittersweet. I'm like, oh, no more, no more making the Cuphead intros and stuff. And oh, don't be it sad. It was fun though. Don't be sad. There are many more to come. Of course. Whoa. I look at the guy in the back. He's like, whoa! I slayed that bitch. Go to heaven. <laughs> But she Ooh, is an angry heaven dog. is a place on earth. Oh, get cheesed. Uh, 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 I love it. Oh, yeah. Just thought she was bad. Jeez, this, this one just doesn't quit. <laughs> Though the last one's really easy. The, the last face? Yeah, it's just this. Little roses fall down. The thing circles back and forth. Though I just took three points of damage during it, so I'm getting a little <laughs> nervous here at the end. Oh, man. Can he do it? Dun, dun, dun. Did we leave in a death? Cast your votes below, guys. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Knockout! <laughs> oh, yeah. Woo! Come on, you should have faith. <laughs> faith in the pipster. Faith in the pipster. <laughs> I rarely disappoint. Though it has been known to happen. <laughs> Not too often. Uh, on occasion. Oh, so we... When it's cold out, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> we dabbled with uh, Dragon Ball Fighters yesterday. Well, Bowman did. I didn't. Yeah. Um, I've, been, I've been working. A lot of people I saw on YouTube and a lot of people on the channel or, you know, on the, the Facebook page um, talking with you guys about it. It seemed like a lot of people were having issues. I wasn't having that many with um, connecting and finding a match and everything. I did get kicked. It usually was only after um, doing a fight with somebody and then I would come back in and be like, oh, the lobby is too full. But then I'd just go right back in and find one that was open. Like, I see people going like, oh, I can't even, another game I can't buy or saying it's going to have a super rocky launch and stuff, and I'm like, I don't really I think it's going to have I've a... I've seen a lot of videos to that effect, which kind of makes me chuckle. Like, click, and there have been some bait. games recently with some actually rocky launches, and they're trying to say that Fighters is going to... Well, listen, <laughs> listen. <clears throat> I'm not a game developer, so I can't speak to the exact specifics of these things. But it's my understanding that if you're having a beta, an open beta, a week before release, mm. you're generally not changing anything about your game at that point. Yeah. You know, it's not... This is a network stress test, essentially. They're seeing if their servers can handle it. I'm sure they were not expecting, or if they were expecting, they need to up their game. Yeah, like I said, there was, um... But, you know... There was a couple... There was a lot of lobbies, um, but they 
were 60, like, max 64 people could be in them. So, understandably, you know, I'd click on one, it said there was 63 people in it, and then it would update really fast, there would be someone in it. But there were a lot of lobbies, so I was able to switch around and find one. I'm just saying, guys, I wouldn't be too worried about network, the network issues at yeah. the moment, just because it is a stress test, and it is a beta, and... It'll probably be better. Yeah. I mean, this now, is just like a snippet. Now, now, that being said, the actual meat of the game looked fun as hell. Oh, it was super fun. Like, I felt like I was kind of getting a grasp on how to do things. Uh, but either way, like, it, it wasn't like, oh, I don't, I can't play this. Like, it's not like it's hard for someone who doesn't know how to play to jump in. Um, but then I was playing with other people who definitely knew what they were doing, and it was, oh, I got whomped, but, um, it was fun, and, I don't know, it doesn't seem like it's that hard to play, and it looks awesome, and it was, it was just super fun, a lot more fun than, um, I think, <sighs> Xenoverse for sure. Uh, I saw I some people saying that. Like, I don't think Xenoverse was really meant to be like a one-on-one -on -one fighter, though. Oh, like, I know, but... So like a I'm brawler. having like a... I don't know. Maybe I've just been... I played too much <clears throat> of Xenoverse, but I don't know. It's like you do it once and you're done with it, and I'm kind of bored with it. I could go and just play with our friends and be like, Hey, let's go play fighters, you know, let's play against each other. Like yeah. I feel like it would have a long... It has a longer... Like you, uh, get, you play get, light. Like you get Xenoverse for the uh, single player stuff. I mean, know? a lot of people do do the um, the online matches. Oh and yeah, stuff. of course. I don't really mess with it, but um. I'm not sure some people do, but all in all, it's not a good fighter game. This is an actual fighting game. Like you know, <laughs> pick one. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's definitely the best DBZ fighter since I like Budokai. The, I like the art style. They look like. 2D sprites on a 3D background. Yeah, they did like a mixture with um, how they animated it. They implemented the 2D, and I really like it. It's it looks, not. It doesn't have that super shiny. I don't know. It doesn't good. have that. It doesn't look like Xenoverse, which I like. I like the way it looks a lot. I like it pops. Uh huh. And it had the Japanese voices. I don't know if that's just because it was the beta. I hope it is. I hope. I hope. That they just keep it that way. They're like, no, screw you guys. You have to no listen. No kamehameha. You get ah. <laughs> yes, I hope so. Or at the very <laughs> least, that they give me an option to keep it in that way. Oh, and I really like too. Um, they had the original color scheme for Vegeta's outfit that they had him in in the show for that one episode on the Bug Planet on Arlia. I thought that was nice. I was like, cool, they put the, uh, they put the other skin in there. Like, usually they, it's just like, it was a different color, but it wasn't, I haven't seen the, uh, the alternate one, which I think it's funny. It looks so janky, too, like blue with orange gloves or something and some green. I'm like, oh, it looked bad. <laughs> and he had like orange hair. Vegeta, what you doing? Um, oh yeah. Uh, so yeah, there were issues this weekend with the beta and... Have they extended it? Um, I haven't been paying attention. Yeah, Bandai Namco said that, I think they were talking about over the weekend that they're, they're possibly going to be extending it since it wasn't working. Mm -hmm. um, they posted today. It is, beta is currently closed, Boo. but they will be doing one more 24-hour beta um, because of the network issues. They will... They said it won't be today. They'll announce when it'll be, but I think like at this point, I'm just gonna wait for the game because it comes yeah. out in like nine days. Yeah. Um, but there will be <laughs> another open beta if you had problems getting into the game. I know a lot of people said they couldn't even get in. Um, they'll be announcing. So the... one more chance <laughs> to try before you buy. Yep. Which I think that's cool that they're like they're not just saying oh uh, screw, screw you. you yeah <laughs> yeah. No, the, a big screw you would definitely be cause for alarm. Now, when they do do the new 24-hour beta, we might check it out just to see if they've cleared up the server issues. Yeah. 
If they haven't by then, guys, I would say it's cause to be alarmed. But, you know, wouldn't worry just yet. Yeah. Definitely no need to worry yet. <laughs> no. I, I, especially, like, this close to the game being released, I don't think they're going to have such big issues. I feel like they would have been on top of that when they did their first, the closed beta. Well, besides, if you're a scrub like me, I don't play online against other people. I just play with friends. Oh. <laughs> and, and, and bear in mind, I only have like one or two <laughs> friends who play fighting games with me, so you know, it's a limited pool. I actually remembered one time I did the online fighting on Xenoverse 2. Um, I remember th I, it was like, I think it, there was two or three rounds in the fight or something. The first one, it totally owned this kid. And the next one... Extremely different playing styles. Like, okay, he got his ass whooped and was like, hey, come over here and beat this guy. Like, had a friend over, it seemed like, because it was a totally different playing style. So I had to beat his friend, too. And that was my only experience. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. When, when you play online, there's definitely a bridge that you have to gap between the, the person who plays, plays it way too much and uh, your casual player. And I could bridge that gap and get really good and stomp everybody online and just be that guy. But then no one that I like to play with would play with me. Yeah. You know. Oh, they, Pip wants to play? I'm good. <laughs> there are characters that when we're all sitting together, you know, group night, I get like three or four people over here playing, playing, uh... Playing fighting games, there are characters that are, if I pick them, people are like, "No, pick a different character, or I'm quitting." I mean, <laughs> no. Here we go. You ready for this? Oh, oh. heartbreak! All. Oh, it's okay. We're on the ball here. Yeah, I got the pattern down. Yeah. Stupid dice man. Stupid dice man. And your tricky, tricky dice. <laughs> <laughs> What's I saying though? Fighting games. I'll get everyone over. Oh, yeah, yeah. You yeah, pick just, a character. Yeah, people just, no, I'm not going to play with you, Pip. That should have been done to me. Like, someone should have just slapped the controller out of my hand when I was playing, um, oh gosh, Soul Calibur. Which which one was it? It had, um, had Link in it. It was on the GameCube. Was it Soul Calibur? Soul Calibur, yeah. Yeah, with Link. Yeah, Soul Calibur 3, I believe. Okay, I'm really bad at remembering which one's which. Um, I was over at a friend's house, I remember playing that once. And I was just beating everybody in the house with Link. And then their neighbor, he would sometimes come over, like, just to be like, hey, what's up, guys? Chill, chat for a second, and then leave. And I remember he came over and was like, oh, what you guys doing? And they're like, oh, you know. So he sat down, and I beat him, too. They definitely should have knocked just said, no more Link for you. You're banned. You're banned, Bulma. <laughs> it was a good day. Never happened again. <laughs> I'm actually not good at fighting games. I just mash and get lucky sometimes. Well, I mean, that's the thing. I'm not that good either. I know what good people are. I know how good people can get at fighting games. I you're know what better good than looks me. Like. like, you know what, like, you know more what you're doing. Like, Yeah, but I, I know what good looks like. And I know that I'm not there. And, uh, but, but still I have characters that people are like, oh, we're not going to play with you, Pip. <laughs> so I'm, I don't want to bridge that gap because then people will just be like, no, we just don't want to play with you at all. <laughs> because even then, even if they beat me, it's like, oh, they know I let them win. Mm -hmm. They know. Cause, because then you, then they sit there and watch you play against online on somebody and you do a, 50 hit combo and yeah. eat 70% of their health bar and they go, oh, that's what he can do. Doesn't feel good to know you've been yeah. let down easily. Like, oh, oh no. It sucks, man. I put on the baby bumpers for you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's I okay. On, I put on the baby bumpers for you. Does that feel good? <laughs> I, I let you win one so you didn't leave here just broken hearted. Yo, I gotta say, out of all the little fights you can do with King Dice. Um, this one, 
and Pirouetta. No, that was the worst. Those ones suck. This one's pretty easy, actually. I'm just a big putz. It's, oh man, it's just... <laughs> like, I figure this out one of the next one of the next run. Like this one seems like but... one of the most jankiest. Like. <laughs> Like, it just looks janky, but I mean, the run that I do it, it looks so easy. <laughs> it's embarrassingly easy. <laughs> the the Perietta one? Yeah. The, the casino roulette wheel person? The Russian ballerina. The Russian ballerina, <laughs> she's a... Uh... Oh, God, she's horrible. <laughs> I remember the first time you going through that. Insert, and... insert Russian joke here. <laughs> Insert horrible Russian person joke here. <laughs> oh, God. We don't actually hold any prejudices. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! Um, it's too, buddy. It's too, buddy. It's too, buddy. What? You think you're the only guy who wants father? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this chick. She's so horrible. Oh, uh, like, I left that. <laughs> like, of course you left it in. <laughs> As this was the finale, we trimmed this one down. I was admittedly here chewing my head on King Dice for oh. a fair bit longer than is portrayed in yeah. the video. Yeah, it's probably like try 37. Just kidding. It's not that no. much. I'm kidding. I'm about to say... I, because this is how far I'd gotten in my original game. So I kind of had an idea on some of these. Yeah, we definitely ran into some ones we didn't see last time. And I was like, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> I, hmm? I don't know why he got stuck shooting in the other direction just then. I was looking at that just now, too. I was like, why is he facing the other way? Okay, mm -hmm. whatever. I noticed that when he did it in the game, but I was like, why is, he, why is there no fire? Because <laughs> well, he's a total putt. Yeah. He doesn't make the same mistake this time. I love this animation. <gasps> Stamped out. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> Take that cigar. <laughs> Any of you guys ever watch Uncle Buck? Every time I every time I see someone chomping on a big cigar, I think of that scene in Uncle Buck where he's like, "Oh yeah, I quit smoking cigarettes. I just smoke a cigar a day now, and I'm good to go." Oh my god. <laughs> And he's chewing on one of these big monsters, monster cigars. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's here we go. Making it look easy here. Remember those little uh, candy cigarettes? Yeah. As a kid. Absolutely. I remember thinking I was so cool. I was you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I was eight, and I was um, I was like, oh, I'm gonna be cool, and I'm gonna light this and be cool. <laughs> Burning gum doesn't smell good. No. <laughs> Don't do it, kids. No, it's um, a terrible idea. Yeah, I wasn't smart. Never claimed to be. <laughs> <laughs> I like candy on fire for fun. It's okay. I was one of those old giblet heads that, uh... <laughs> giblet head. <laughs> giblet. Giblet? Uh, I think it's giblet head. I believe that is correct. Sure. Sure. I believe so. Uh, that's one of those little giblet heads that tried to, you know, snort pixie sticks. Oh yeah. A million years ago. To be to to fit in, so all the cool kids would notice me. Uh, I had. I was a, desperate for attention. And I never had a friend who any. had crushed up Doritos once and oh, tried to. Yeah. That's. Ow. Did that at lunch. That actually makes my face hurt. Oh, yeah. I mean, Pixie <laughs> Sticks was... I don't recommend it, but it's not that bad. Oh, me and my friends back in school. <laughs> Doritos. Yeah, Doritos. Oh, Lord. I can't remember if it was ranch or nacho, but it was I, one I, of the two. I mean... Love it! <laughs> <laughs> I know. While I was playing it, I was like, oh, I love it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh. 
Yeah, so, um... Yeah, we could ramble on a bit here, but we actually have news! Yeah, like, uh, the party game where you play as a penis is finally out in Australia! Genital jousting! <laughs> yes. Yes. It's coming to Australia. Straight up. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, we don't own it, but, uh, I would like to. I'm not opposed. Uh, it's, a. Uh, this multiplayer game where you control a detached flaccid penis yeah. um with you with got a little a, pair of balls on it too and you know they wear hats and they have costumes like there's a little no police one it gets better than that guys and they have a little anus on them too yeah no uh, it, it's a detached penis detachable with a little penis. with a little butthole on the end of it on the end of its ball sack detachable penis and uh the whole point of the game is to insert yourself <laughs> into the butt of another penis. <laughs> and yeah, you're supposed to like form like a for, human for, centipede. Yeah, for, dicks. yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, the game is absurdly lewd, but it is probably one of the funniest things you can show your friends, <laughs> housemates, and relatives. Just for the shock value alone. <laughs> Let alone, it, it's animated in, in this cute, cartoony way. So like, <laughs> you know, like, 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 uh, Bulma was saying, they, you know, you can dress them up in little policeman outfits. Yeah, and, and they're different colors, too. Oh, like, yeah, green I mean, and pink and purple. Like, it's, it, little cartoon penises. They're not, they're not absolutely, like, ugh, to look at. Like, they're just, they're kind of cute and weird, and then and then when they start, when the game starts, then it's just, it's, you know, all bets are off. It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. I want to own that game. It's, uh, I think it's just $5 on Steam. <laughs> I think, as soon as we're done with this recording. Or, uh, 5 to $7. I think it's $7. It's early access, $5. Well, you know what? You know what? Poop on that. I'm going to wait till it goes on sale. <laughs> and then... Genital jousting. And there's a whole bunch of mini games. Um, with and there's a story mode, guys. The story of John. <laughs> there's really a story mode now. Yeah, you. It says you play as John, a wow. penis who is looking to find a date to take to his high school reunion. This is so inappropriate. Um. So yeah, that's that's the story mode. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> And it's uh, made its way to Australia. The game um, first penetrated <laughs> our, our, uh, you know, our gaming <sighs> sphere <laughs> in uh, 2016, around the end of it. And um, they weren't sure if it would get past Australia's ratings, but that's, they have just... That's yeah, fantastic, first of all. <laughs> first of all, that's fantastic. Second of all, lighten the hell up, Australia. Oh yeah, we heard some. Like, I I would I would go there if it weren't for all the inhospitable life, racists, and government that treats you like you're a child that can't handle Grand Theft Auto. Don't forget the Pharaohs, Pip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and and the and the Pharaohs. <laughs> now you know we live in the U.S., so you know. One to talk about racism here in the U.S. Mm. But, uh... Come on, Australia. You're known for it. Don't try and act all high and mighty about it. <laughs> You're racist. Alright, this was the oh. absolute worst boss. My god, I know. This first, one we hadn't gotten before. Like, you know, this is new to both of us. First of all... I'm completely shit house at these memory puzzles. <laughs> I'm pretty good at them. I've been bad at these since I was a little kid. <laughs> and, and now there's a whole boss fight where not only do I have to do it and worry about that, I have to worry about dodging a monkey. <laughs> what fun. <laughs> this, is, this was nonce. What nonce. an interesting... <laughs> King Dice. You know what? what? What are the two brothers that made this game? Oh. Boo on you guys. Don't do this again. <laughs> Boo on you too. 
I love your game. I love everything about this. Except for this. <laughs> this was singularly terrible. <laughs> I was <laughs> I was struck by how bad this was. I was I was playing this and Bulma was like are they even serious right now? I was like, I, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cuphead. Love it, though. I would recommend this game all day long. We just watched the 107 Facts videos about yeah, Cuphead. Yeah, that was fun. That was cool, man. It def confirmed for me that uh, this is definitely all hand-drawn. and. Yeah, it was really cool seeing... Um, seeing the process. Yeah. That was um, neat. And all the inspirations they drew from old cartoons, like the um, the the scary, spooky train one. The background going um, behind the train, the background was taken from the spooky, spooky skeletons. Spooky, spooky and you know, just a lot of little things like that. And it's just like wow, all the even like we've already said this a lot of love went into this game but oh, yeah. holy cow <laughs> okay. even even more than we originally assumed and we Eesh. were well aware that this was a labor of love yeah bye bye but like, monkey but like damn man these guys like remortgaged their house to get this game like yeah. they went all in they were like no nah, we got something here you know what bravo to you guys you did brava 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 bravissima bravissima <laughs> Oh, um, in the news, PUBG, what? Chinese publisher, leads a state-assisted crackdown on cheaters, and there was over 120 arrests of <laughs> wow. cheaters. Yeah, man. Wow, they ain't playing. Um, they, yeah, the cops have opened at least 30 cases, and... Like I said, made more than 120 arrests. <laughs> wow. Don't be cheating, guys. Don't be cheating over in China. That's what that is. <laughs> you know, you're using aim bots and other things like that. and they, oh, um, That's scary. Not, yeah, they're the Chinese publishers working with them now. Yo, to, yo I don't, we don't support cheaters here, but I mean... Arresting somebody? Yeah. That's... <laughs> it's a little scary. I mean, we, we won't talk politics, but, uh... About Chinese government and stuff, but that, that's... That's frightening. Yeah, and they said they're gonna continue doing this, um... In order to, as they say, provide a competitive platform and a fair place for people to play in. <laughs> We're gonna arrest you. Okay. Arrested. Arrested. Now. You're getting arrested. You're now, getting arrested. Now, now, admittedly, this is something that like needed to happen, but I think this is something that probably should have been handled on like PUBG's end. You know what I mean? Mm. Like maybe just I don't even know. Maybe don't have a, a gambling system in it that awards people for cheating. You know, that... Mm. That helps. Jeez. Yeah. I mean, I I've know. never really felt like... You know, I don't cheat in games. I don't even know how to do that, you know? <laughs> Yo, I, I cheat in games when I can put in a cheat code... Yeah. And it works, you know, that the game developers put in. Yeah, like Red Dead Redemption so, has the so cheat can, codes you can find all over the map. So and, I can have a little extra fun. Yeah. You know, like after I've beaten a game, I, I don't mind. That's totally cool. Okay, check it. Uh, Like, I don't mind getting infinite ammo in a game where ammo conservation is a thing after I've beaten the game. Like, hey, you beaten the game? Here's yeah. infinite ammo. Here's god mode. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Go screw around, have fun now that you've taken it seriously and beaten it. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I feel like if you're one of those people who just goes and, like, hacks a game and gets god mode from the very beginning yeah. and maxes out their stats, like, well, first of all, you're cheating yourself. I, I mean, and if you're doing it to get an edge in, like, a competitive game like PUBG, you're... You're one of two things. You're either 
anti-competitive, like, you know, go do something else. <laughs> go do something else to make yourself feel Some superior. Some people just don't play well with others. Well, well it's just like self-inflation of your ego by going and stomping on somebody because mm. you're cheating and then going, oh, look, I stomped that guy. What a scrub. Right. But like to- totally ignoring the fact that he's a cheating scrub. Yeah. You know. Yeah, you know, take the cheats away and yeah, what's and, left. And they get wrecked. But, uh, you know, you wouldn't cheat if you were confident in your ability to not get wrecked. But, um, I don't, I don't know. Good? Good? No more, no less Chinese hackers in, uh, in PUBG? I, I will say, though, that, like, you're either, you're either a, a poor sport or, uh, you know, you're making money off it, which PUBG is allowing people to do. We're not gonna go and do it again. Take that, King Dice! Woo! Take that! Enough of your nods. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez, like, more than half the video, King Dice. Jeez, something like that. <laughs> it's because that fight takes so long, man. Yeah, then we got sent back, and woof. Oh. What a fight. Yeah. What a finale, you mean. Ha 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 Um, kind of on the same vein of, uh, people getting arrested for cheating, um, someone who was, I guess, spamming a lot on Twitch, they were, you know, uh, somewhere, there's, um, some averages of 600 messages per minute on some channels, um, there was like 150,000 messages posted, they would be... Uh, racist, homophobic, uh, sexual harassment, links to shock imagery. Um, oh, awesome. So an actual scumbag. Yeah, you know, they're just spamming the crap out of people's Twitch channels, and this person is facing criminal charges in Canada. Um, <laughs> Canada ain't playing. Canada is definitely not playing. Um, Canada ain't playing with your troll shit. Uh, da 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 da. The, That's um, tough. Um, he is looking at uh, possible the maximum penalty is 10 years in prison, which is actually more than three times the prison term facing the guy who is being, you know, the the Kansas swatting incident. I was actually about to bring that up in response to these, you know, people being arrested for doing shitty things. Yeah, this person who related is... Related to gaming. Who... It, I agree was a shitty spammer. Um, they're actually looking at more than three times the prison term than the Kansas swatter who is being well, um, first of all, instigated right now. Okay, well, first, if you guys haven't heard... Um, Investigate. I don't... I mean, I have I have a couple names, but we're going to keep it no names here, okay? You can go and look the story up if you want, but some guy in Kansas. Or uh, some guy... Who's done this before, you know, no, notorious swatter. Well, that's a thing you want to be known for, right? <laughs> uh, if you guys don't know what swatting is, it's where you, like, someone will call the fucking police and give them your address and your information and tell them that there's, like, a hostage situation or, you know, someone's threatening to kill somebody or something crazy like that. And so the SWAT team bursts into your house and, you know, in some instances, people's animals have been killed. Uh, you know, there's a big some, shoot first some, mentality. Like, some, oh, I thought I saw him reach, you know, saw, thought I saw, thought I saw, you know, then they did shoot and shit happens and people well, that, end up that's dead. Well, that's a whole other issue about a whole other thing. <laughs> yes. But the... This guy was playing a game with some guy and, and lost like an $11 bet or some absolute nonce like that. Yeah. And uh, He lost. Instead of sucking it up and moving on, he decided to, like, 
The guy who he lost the bet to gave this person's information, just like, screw you, swap me, bro. Which I think this guy should face something, some charges too. Okay? You know, just give someone else's information out. Yeah. But uh, he gave his, someone else's information out to this guy, and this guy swatted him. You know, you can go and listen to the actual videotape of him calling the police and talking it's to him. Sick. It's It's absolutely sick. Talking about... Uh, he, he he called in uh, a hostage situation uh, at this guy's address, saying that he was holding people hostage and he was going to kill people. And yeah. So uh, you know the SWAT team came there. He's just being really vague and so just just like oh you know just in the closet he, and they're trying to figure it's out and disgusting. this is serious. It's like disgusting. It's absolutely one of the most reprehensible things you. will hear. Yeah, this is just like a joke to this guy. Yeah, just a joke. Like you know, <laughs> yeah. aren't I funny? And, uh, <laughs> scumbag. But, uh, the, the, the cops go to this guy's house and, um, you know, for whatever reason, uh, the guy got shot to death. Yeah, I think he had just, like, stepped outside. I think he was, like, 28 years old. And yeah, I think he was yeah, a father. You, you know, the, again, another topic for entirely, just the police reacted poorly. And the... And um, 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 an innocent man got shot to death. Well, okay, that's that's the story. It's absolutely sick. And this kid because is this facing. Kid and this kid is facing. You know, a little slap on the hand, essentially. Which, I, I mean, personally, I think the kid should be thrown in prison for the rest of his life. This yeah. isn't the first time he did it. You know what I mean? There, yeah, there was um, someone he tried doing this to in Canada. Uh, I believe maybe just last month. You know, near the end of 2017. But someone following her, someone on Twitch, they alerted her, and she had to call the police and let like alert them before this guy even made a call, just to say like, "Hey, yeah, just someone's so trying you know. to swat me. This is a hoax. Like yeah. oh, everything's it, fine. Like she I, had she had to call the police and be like, "Hey, don't come to my like you yeah, know please, please explain the situation. Please don't burst my door down and throw guns in my face." Yeah. So this this guy this isn't his first time. No, and... this is a a, a repeat. A repeat dick, and you know him screwing around and taking up taxpayer resources, calling the police and getting them to drive out and stuff. Right? You're paying for that. If if you live in America, yeah. <laughs> if you live anywhere else, you're probably just like, damn, what the hell? Which, you know, everyone living here should be thinking that too. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. We're talking about arresting people for cheating, and we're gonna slap this kid on the wrist for getting somebody killed. Ah, I think we should lock him away and throw away the key. Um, as as an example, it was actually posted yesterday that um, he was in fact charged with involuntary manslaughter, and he faces up to eleven years in prison. But I still don't think there's any verdict or ruling. You know, whatever. I mean, I think that'd be fair because that guy doesn't get to live any years of his life anymore. You know, I believe he had kids too. Like, yeah. Uh, I mean, even if he didn't, even if he did. Yeah, even if he didn't, like. <laughs> but I think he did. So I mean, <laughs> you know, whatever, guys. We're done. Horrible subject. We're moving along. Sorry for bringing it up. We we even talked about off off camera, off a uh, mic, whether to t bring it up at all or not. Uh, I said no, but it it's kind of related to the topics at hand, so. Make of it what you will, guys. Don't do that shit. Yeah, if you can't... Don't do that shit. Yo, do do something else instead. Come on. Go go, go to the gym or something. Go. Yo, go spray Ow. paint graffiti. Like, <laughs> anything. Anything's better than that. That's nuts. Ooh. What <laughs> uh, is that? A devil knockout. Ooh. ooh. Got him. Uh, Man. All right, now to move swiftly away into uh, some brighter news, okay, guys? Bright days and we sunshine. Got, we got some good news on the finale as well. Speedrunners raised two million plus dollars for charity. I don't know what charity or what the speedrun. I don't. I didn't take names, okay? <laughs> I'm bad. That's awesome, though. But yeah, if you're not into the whole speedrunning scene, it's actually really intense. Go and check out like one of your favorite games and just look yeah. up like speedrun. It'll blow you away. 
I used to, um, just a few months ago, I was really into watching Bloodborne and Dark Souls speedruns, and what started me off on it was um, watching some Ocarina of Time speedruns, because someone yeah. beat the game in like, you know, it was like seven minutes or you know, something. Yeah, they like or, gl you know, glitched through the beginning of the game so crazy. into you know, Ganondorf. It's a fun watch. Yeah, this is interesting stuff. But yeah, they raised two million plus dollars for charity. Rock on. Rock on. That's awesome. Yeah, I like that. That's good. Should have probably done a little more research <laughs> and found out what charity in particular. But uh, I'm pretty sure we can all just, you know, walk away from this feeling pretty good. Yeah. Especially like these two. Just like these two. Uh-oh. <laughs> but that is another story. <laughs> Just kidding! <laughs> um, in other news, uh, other news, Cyberpunk 2077, maybe, possibly, getting announced at E3, huh. maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't even want to like say this. <laughs> I've been watching videos about it, and everyone's like. Basically what happened was an inactive profile made a post that says beep. <laughs> you know, five years after the release of the uh, promo material for it. Huh. You know, that's pretty telling, I, I guess. But I mean, people are jumping to all sorts of conclusions about it. Oh, the game's coming out soon. It's happening. Uh, Confirmed. Uh, <laughs> you know, well. Maybe, maybe not. So, you know, there it is, guys. Cyberpunk 2077 announcement coming hmm. soon, maybe, possibly, hmm. who knows. We'll keep you posted. In other, other <laughs> news, Sword Art Online, uh, game, the game, not the, <laughs> not the anime that makes my eye start twitching, Bing. uh, do you guys remember Augment Your Pre-Order? Think about it. It sounds familiar, doesn't it? Deus Ex tried it. They said, hey guys. Oh, hold I... on. <laughs> yeah, take a listen to this. After we, uh, after we started, after we started the game over again, after accepting the devil's deal, <laughs> all the audio is backwards. <laughs> That was a nice little treat. I thought that was a brilliant little nod. To the satanic panic! <laughs> Get him, boys. <sighs> but yeah, uh, essentially you, the more people that bought pre-orders, the better your pre-order bonus would be. First of all, screw pre-order bonuses. Terrible. Eh. That idea is toxic. You know, augment your pre-order. Crazy, and, and it rightfully got booed down and kicked to the curb. Well, Sword Art Online, not one to leave a bad idea behind. Mm. Uh, decided that they were going to do that for their out their next you know their coming coming game that's coming out soon here. Mm. <laughs> I'm not interested. I thought it was funny. <laughs> you know, augment your pre-order died for a reason. No, no other game company has tried that since because very good reason. Deus Ex got panned for it. Oh well, one day these game companies will learn. One day. One day. Well, thank you guys for joining us as we made our way through Cuphead and beat the devil. Yeah. yeah. Reclaimed all the souls. Like I said, I'm a little sad that we're done with it, but that just means another spot to open for more games. Yeah, man. <sighs> Guys, leave your comments below. Yeah. Tell us what you want to see next. Yeah, let otherwise, us know. Otherwise, otherwise, I get to pick. Uh oh. And you won't like it. Genital jousting. <laughs> <laughs> next time. With daily uploads on the daily brief. See ya.